Hello everybody and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks so much for watching and joining today's video. Just a quick reminder guys, if a police officer tells you to take your keys out of the ignition of your vehicle and then tells you to step out of your vehicle, you should do it. Because if you don't, it could end badly and that's what happened in Arlington, Texas on I-20. We have a police officer who's on his motorcycle and he sees this black Cadillac driving erratically all throughout the lanes on I-20. Of course, the police officer turns turns his lights and sirens on, and still the black Cadillac does not pull over and continues to drive erratically all throughout the lanes. We later find out that the driver said, I didn't see you behind me. Well, that's a lot of BS because of course you saw the police officer. To be fair, the driver did say that he was pulling all the way to the left because his friend was stranded and needed help with her tire. And yes, there was someone who needed help with the tire. There was someone there and she did see the whole thing play out. So as we saw there, the officer was very mad saying, hey, you need to stop what you're doing and like pull over when we tell you to. Rightfully so. I mean, that's the whole job of a police officer is to do that in traffic control. Immediately, the officer opens the door and quickly asks the driver, hey, are you smoking weed? Because it's, it smells like weed in here. The officer follows that up with, do you have a gun? And we see that the driver looks off into the distance and doesn't respond right away. Right away, that's a huge red flag in the officer's mind, or it should be, because as an officer, if you ask anybody, do you have a gun? And they look around and they just, do you have any weapons in the car? That is a bad sign for the officer. That tells the officer, hey, you know what? There might be a gun in this car or this guy may have a gun on him. And so he asks again, do you have a gun? And he finally says, no. huh? Now that's key because this guy who's driving is a felon and felons, if you guys don't know, are not allowed to have any kind of gun at all. And so that kind of being a red flag, the officer goes into more questioning and gives commands to the driver. Turn your car off. Give me the it keys. Is, it is off. It is off. I need the keys. I tell you to turn the car off and give me the keys? No. He's already resisting. Okay, when the officer tells him to take the keys out of the ignition and step out of the car, he says, no, I'm not doing that. That's resisting, guys, okay? So the driver and the officer exchange words back and forth. The officer continues to give commands. The driver is not compliant. He's argumentative and he's combative and he's not listening to the commands. And so the officer finally decides, hey, it's time. You're getting out of this vehicle and I'm going to make you because if you don't comply, they will make you. Ask me how I know. So the officer goes and grabs this guy. The guy, the driver leans over and they're grabbing his foot and they try to pull him out and it's unsuccessful. The driver quickly hops into the passenger side of the vehicle and then guess what? Guess what this guy does? He grabs a gun from the glove compartment of his car. Remember that one time when the officer asked, is there a gun in this car? Do you have a gun? And our guy just went, no, I don't, I don't have one. I don't think I do. Yeah, that is a bad thing to do for any police officer. Once that guy grabbed the gun, I don't know how the officer didn't delete that guy on the spot. It's pretty wild. Okay, he gave him, like from this entire interaction, the officer gave him chance after chance after chance being disobedient, not compliant, and argumentative. And still he hops over, grabs a gun. But here's the thing, he doesn't point it at the police officer. And a lot of people in different comments that I've seen online are saying, well, the guy, the driver didn't point the gun at the police officer. So there's no reason why he should have been shot. That's not a thing, you guys. When someone grabs a gun as a police officer, that is an act of aggression. That is a lethal force situation off the bat. That officer, in my opinion, had every right to delete that guy instantly because he grabbed the gun. Based on what we know of what we've seen already from the behavior of this driver, he grabs a gun. Do you think all of a sudden this driver is going to be compliant because he grabbed the gun? He's like, you know what? I grabbed the gun. My bad. Drops it. I'm going to get out of the vehicle now. No, that's again, not how this works. The officer saw that as a lethal situation. The driver gets, once the passenger gets away from him, he's resisting even more so. We've already seen the driver resisting, not obeying commands. He hops over to the passenger side, grabs a gun, and it becomes this kind of a situation. The officer says, drop it, drop it, or I'm going to shoot you because that's honestly what might happen and ultimately does happen. And so the driver says, I know you will. Put the gun down. Maybe this is kind of a, you know, death by cop kind of thing. We don't really know what's going on in his head at the time, but the driver is not complying. 
he grabs a gun and it becomes pretty lethal. Also, remember when I told you that felons should not have any kind of guns in their possession? Well, that's, that's also a big no-no too. Ultimately, after the officer gives the driver multiple commands to drop the gun, he does not drop the gun, and the officer deletes him with three pew pews, with three freedom seeds, because he was not compliant and he felt like the driver was a threat. Now, I want to remind you guys, just because the gun was not pointed at the police officer does not give the officer any more of, hey, I'm not gonna shoot this guy because it's not pointed at me. No, if someone's resisting, not complying, and they grab a gun, but it's not pointed at you, no, it's game time, it's go time. Had the driver just pulled over and said, hey, my friend's over there, I'm gonna help her with a flat tire, just to maybe the officer would have given this guy a warning or even a ticket. Just gave him his license and insurance for the Cadillac, he might have been just fine and good to go. Maybe the officer takes him out and searches the car and then he gets in trouble and goes to jail for the gun because he's a felon, you can't have that. But there's a small, I think a small part of me says that maybe he would have been let go with a warning or even a ticket or even would have helped the girl with a flat tire. But no, he decided to say no, not obey commands of the officer and then resist and then move away from the officer. All those three things are resisting. And then to top it all off, he grabs a gun and goes into this back and forth with the officer, but eventually gets deleted for his actions. And that my friend is what you call FAFO, F around and find out. So moral of this story, if a cop tells you to get out of the vehicle, obey the officer. Things will go a lot more smoothly if you just do what they say. Most of my interactions as a law enforcement officer were okay. Okay, most people would be okay. Some would resist and some would not want to follow the rules or follow my commands. But this officer here gave this driver lots of time and honestly, a lot of commands and a lot of chances to make it right. But ultimately, he did not make it right. Ultimately, the driver decided to go down this road and took a forever nap. Now, the question is, do you guys think this was justified? Do you think the officer was in compliance with what he needed to do? Was the driver wrong? Was the police officer wrong? The question I have is, what do you guys think? Knowing what we know now, would you have done the same? Was this officer in the right? Was the driver in the right? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys think. Guys, please, if you get pulled over, follow the officer commands. You will benefit from it in the long run. Guys, if you don't want to take a forever nap, please follow the instructions of a police officer, especially in a traffic stop. And with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. Got a gun in the car? Do you have any weapons in the car? Turn your turn your car off. Give me the keys. It is off. It is off. I need don't the... do that, please. Don't touch me. Turn the car off. Don't do it. Turn the car off. Don't do it. Turn the car off. Don't do it. Turn the car off. Listen, get your hands off me, man.